Celebrating Cincinnati's hospitality and bartending scene for a great cause on the Rocks Liquor and Spirits event is back this Sunday with a portion of the proceeds benefiting local organization Cincinnati Works. And to tell us more, we are joined right now by Cecilia Rose from Cincinnati Magazine. Cecilia, thanks for being back with us. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. It's always <laughs> good to see you. So talk to us a little bit about what are some of the activities if people are interested in maybe participating this Sunday. Do you have to be a bartender? What's the deal? Oh, no, this is for anybody who drinks. Okay. <laughs> uh, so it is a, a tasting sampling event for spirits and cocktails. Uh, we have some great food as well, but literally you come in and you can just sample your way through all kinds of great spirits, not just bourbon, like literally we cross the board on all kinds of spirits mm -hmm. and um, all kinds of great cocktails and we have some great bartenders participating and um, phenomenal classes that you can attend, just really quick 20 minute classes so you can learn something fun and yeah, it's great. And take it home because it can be an art form for people if you Absolutely. want to get creative. Now tell us about the classes that people will be able to take. Are they just for aspiring bartenders? No, 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 no. This is like we have a, uh, a class on how to build the perfect bar cart for your house. Oh. For your home. You know, like what do you really need on it to make a good bar cart? Uh, we have a, a tequila tasting, how to pick a great bottle of tequila that is affordably priced. We have uh, a bourbon tasting from a very esteemed bourbon expert from down in Kentucky way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just a bright, you know, like Molly Wellman and Jacob Trevina, they're all doing some classes. So it's a nice little, we have a cooking class, Cooking with Spirits, so. It sounds like so much fun. Yeah, it is so much fun. And, and, and we should mention too, this is actually an inclusive event. Absolutely. You have options too for maybe the designated driver or people who don't really like to drink. No, so I, I, I'm admitting publicly, I'm one of those people. I enjoy a cocktail, but I enjoy one cocktail. Mm -hmm. So for me, a designated driver ticket is perfect. It means I get all the food and all the mocktails and all the non-alcoholics I want for that very low, very low, low, low price. And I can come with my friends and I love that you include people yeah. who don't drink because yeah. I do find, you know, if it's someone who's had a problem in the past and now they're mm -hmm. they're healthy, it, it sometimes you do feel left out at events Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. No, right? we have a, a nice variety of things to drink that are not alcohol. Yeah. yeah, and for people like me, I always say I'm eating my calories, not drinking them. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be the perfect ticket for someone like me. Now, so, uh, Cecilia, a portion of the proceeds will benefit Cincinnati Works. Can you explain what they do for people who may be unfamiliar and why it's important to uh, celebrate and support their work? So they really uh, take uh, folks that have been in some ways are not marginalized in the community and get them back into the workforce. You know, they work within training them, they work with employers to come up with programs to get them trained and back into the workforce so they're, once again, productive members of society. And a lot of people fall through the cracks. And they're one of those organizations that catch those people falling through the cracks because they want to be out there working and they maybe just don't have the right skills mm. or the right connections to do that. And Cincinnati Works helps them do that. Yeah, it's a, it's a really great, great program yeah. if yeah. you haven't heard about it. Yeah, Cecilia, thanks again. Always bright to have you here with us thanks. on the couch. And you guys are always doing so many great things over there at Cincinnati Magazine. I we, feel like you're so busy and involved in local events. Um, one of our tenants is community. So in the magazine, we have community every month within the pages of our magazine, and our events just bring the community to life in a 3D format. Mm -hmm. And that, that's really, for us, it's how can we embrace the community as a whole and really get people involved in getting to know one another and enjoying what we have to offer. Well, here. mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and once again, On the Rocks is happening this Sunday, August 13th at Megacore Pavilion in Newport from 2 to 5 in the afternoon. General admission tickets, $65, and VIP tickets are $90, of course you need to be 21 or older to buy a ticket you can learn more at the website on your screen looks like such a fun event if you are free sunday definitely something to check out mm -hmm. in the meantime